గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు యొక్క అతి శ్రేష్టమైన నామంలో మీ అందరికీ సిటీసీ తరపుగా మరొకసారి వందనాలు తెలియచేస్తున్నాను ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు టేక్ ఫ్యూ మినిట్స్ వీ హీన్ హియరింగ్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ వండర్ఫుల్ సాంగ్స్ చక్కటి పాటలు ఇంత మటుకు మనం వింటూ వస్తూ ఉన్నాం అలాగే ఇంకా కొన్ని మంచి పాటలు తదుపరి కూడా వినబోతూ ఉన్నాం అయితే ఐఎమ్ హియర్ I'm here to present the heart of the matter. So what is it that we need to take away from this evening session? Good, uh, we are refreshed with the music. It is good to listen to the theme uh, of, of uh, the essence of all these songs, one after another. But uh, what is it that we want you all to take back uh, from this evening session? So to just answer that, uh, there are two instances uh rendu vishayalu yesu prabhu varu ee bhulokana unnapudu prasthavinchina rendu vishayalu mee munduku teesukovali cheppi aashpattunnan motta modati di oka dhanavantudu alage lazaru ani cheppi iddaru vyaktulu yokka charit vaari vaari vishayamai prasthavinchi oka sandarbhamlo yesu prabhu varu cheppina vrutantham itla undi mari aa dhanavantudu బహు ధనం కలిగి సుఖం కలిగి ఈ లోకంలో జీవిస్తూ ఉన్నాడంట అలాగే దరిద్రుడైన లాజర్ లేకపోతే హీస్ ఎ పూర్ లాజర్స్ హూ డెంట్ హ్యావ్ మచ్ టు టేక్ యాజ్ అ ప్లెజర్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ లైఫ్ సో బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ లెఫ్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ రాదర్ దే హ్యావ్ ఫినిష్ దేర్ కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లైఫ్ టైమ్ దట్ దే హ్యాడ్ అండ్ వన్స్ దే ఫినిష్ దేర్ లైఫ్ టైమ్ దే బోత్ హ్యాడ్ సమ్ ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ ఇటర్నిటీ టు స్పెండ్ అండ్ it so happened that the the lazarus who was suffering on this earth uh happened to be with god connected to god and having an everlasting life in the bosom of god devan yokka rommunu aankunnatluga he has the greatest privilege of being with god for eternity and then unfortunately the the instance or the uh, the thing that the rich man had 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 gone to in spending the eternity was that he was being tormented and uh, and uh, he is eternally disconnected with god so we might wonder what is the thing is it the riches or the pleasures that have taken this person the rich man away or is it uh, or is it some good deeds that lazarus have done that had made him reach god and be connected with god so to answer uh, that particular question uh, i just want to highlight that it is nothing to do with the riches because in heaven as in bible we see a lot of rich people also who were rich upon this earth but the point of the matter is they made some choices in this world which made an effect on the destiny that they were for eternity and uh, it might surprise us uh, for some of us that these choices that we make upon this world can be a difference of heaven and earth for our eternal destination and that's what we we get out of this story of lazarus and the rich man so i am now coming to the last part of the uh, topic that i took up what is the heart of the matter what is it that we uh, as an organization and as friends of yours want you to take back from this evening session is that there is an important question that helps us make the right choices in our lives to decide where we would spend our eternity and i would bring up that question right away and this was also a question that jesus christ on the second occasion uh, he spoke with his very favorite disciple by name peter yesu prabhu varu peturu tho adigina prashna entante peturu janulu na gurinchi em anukuntunnaru ani cheppi yesu prabhu varu peturni prashna vesaru mari peturu daniki tagina samadhanam ichina tadupari suutiga yesu prabhu varu peturu kesina prashna enti anante neevu na gurinchi em anukuntunnavu today i just want to bring this question which is a very important question that decides our destiny 
unto our eternity. And the question is, what is Jesus personally to you? Iroju Esu Provar ni na Vyaktikata Jivtanki Aina Yema Yuntunaro Ane Satyam Noko Ajavabu Manayaka Gamyani Nithyatvamlo Manam Ekada Gadaputamane Gamyani Nischi and Chidga Undi and Chepi Nin Chapagalanu Mari Najivtanki Yoka Haindo Kutumlo Puti Mari Aya uh, backgrounds I read I I studied in a uh, in a in a school which is famous for keeping up the Hindu tradition on high. And uh, I happened to by heart Mantra Pushpam and Suprabhatam and many other slokas. And uh, I'm going to have some of the slides of some slokas that actually convey some very critical truths that touched my life just before in the slides. But here I'm trying to bring up this important question that changed my life in the year 1995 that gave me a great assurance of my destiny forever that it would be with God. And the question is, and that important question is, what is Jesus to my life? So to answer a little, uh, the Bible actually clearly describes that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through me. And it was a stunning statement as I realized that how could it be there is so much good that I hear in, in, other, uh, in other books that I've read, be it Bhagavad Gita and all, how could it be that he could say, I am the way and nobody comes to the Father? And I came across some of more important questions uh, resulting uh, in, the, in, in this investigation. So as I found that the reason Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, is that he happened to be the only righteous sacrifice or a holy sacrifice who had offered himself for the remission of sins. So just before I go there, I want to highlight one of the important words that I came across in sloka also, and also in Bible. And this says that, all the human beings are sinners by birth and go on accumulating the sin by their wrong deeds. And this is from Devi Bhagavatam. So, and the same verse in Bible resonates saying, all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. And so, when I knew that, I was not uh, completely hesitant in taking that because in the core of my heart, I knew when I was desiring to be honest, that there is something in me that makes me be disconnected from God who is so holy. And to, to that fact, uh, just think about a little of anger, a little of jealousy that we start with in our younger lives. And uh, take a small young boy for that matter, uh, or a young, uh, a little girl, you always see this, that this is mine. Idi nadi, idi nadi anchepe, oka swardam tukurna swabhaam. And so on and so forth. You see that nature of sin so embedded in man that it is only in Jesus Christ that I could see that I could be truly honest about my state in my heart. And after having, uh, after having fully acknowledged the state in my heart, I've, I started finding some answers to that problem that I have. And, uh, and, the, and, the, and the problem, the actual problem of sin residing in us is that the wages of sin, the Bible describes, the wages of sin is death. And uh, we might wonder, okay, everybody are going to die. So what is great thing about wages of sin being death? And I just want to reflect back to that, uh, to that instance that I told about Lazarus and the rich man, where death is not just leaving our lives physically from our earthly bodies, but it is an eternal separation from God, which God doesn't want you and I to have, which is why he sent his only begotten son to pay the punishment of sin that every one of us have committed so that you and I can acknowledge that and in and through Christ Jesus can have the forgiveness of sin. So I just want to uh, bring forth a small uh, email blunder that has happened and I, I came across this article and uh, I hope uh, 
you would understand the meaning of this. So it, it so happened that a, a Chicago resident in the winter time, he happened to just uh, fly down to escape the, the snowflakes and all of these. He flew down to Florida, it seems. And uh, yeah, of course, it's a warm climate, so he, he was enjoying uh, this warm climate there. And it so happened his wife was coming on a business trip. And that's why he, he happened to go to Florida to spend some time to escape the, the snowflakes and the, and the depression that happens because of snow. So this guy happened to check into the hotel and uh, he, he was in and he wanted to quickly start enjoying the place there. And uh, he thought, okay, let me just send a quick email saying that I just checked in and I'm waiting for you. And uh, he happened to write a quick email saying, honey, uh, I'll, I'll, let's come to the content of the email. But as he was doing this, it so happened that in, in, the, in the quickness, he missed one of the letters of his, of, of, of her, of his wife's email address. And it happened to land in... Uh, uh, the, it, it, this email happened to go to another account and she happened to be a widow of a nominal Christian who, who has just passed away a day before. And uh, it so happened that the wife, uh, after having been so shocked about his husband's death, she was trying to check up her email and going through that condolences list uh, the next day, and she was just scared down to uh, her vein, and just she fall fainting down, looking at this email that has come. And uh, and let's see what the content of the email was. The content of the email is, "Honey, just got checked in. Everything prepared for your arrival tomorrow. P.S. Sure, is it hot down here? So it actually explains." as to how this, uh, this hell might be a hot place and she was shocked down to earth that she's just going to go to that place tomorrow. And uh, so I just want to remind you, the worst part of hell is not the, the tormenting of the heat, but being eternally separated from God who had created you in his own image. And he has done the needed thing to have you with him for eternity. And it is for you and me to take that decision, take that right choices that you and I can be with him. And I want to close with this verse, the greatest verse from the Bible, John 3.16, which says, Devudu lokamunu yento preminchenu kaga aynatana advitiya kumarni dwara anaga esu prabhu dwara putina vani yandu viswasamunchu prati vadunu Today, Jesus had already paid that penalty of yours and my sin. And it is for you to make that right choice to acknowledge Him as your Savior. Invite Him into your hearts. And if, it is, if there is one thing that we, as your friends, want you to take back from this concert as a heart of the matter of all the songs that we are presenting, it is making that right choice by acknowledging Jesus and inviting him into your hearts. May the Lord help you and give you that right wisdom and open your eyes and enlighten you that you might make that right decision. Thank you. I just want to close with a small prayer. Uh, and for those of you who have been just pricked by the Word of God. And if you are interested to know more about these questions that are life-changing, especially for my life as they were life-changing, we do small group sessions. or These are called the life groups or small groups where we talk about these important questions. And we have one of them going in Peninsula and in Fremont. You could also either meet me or any of the elders here to talk more about if, if there is something that God has touched you tonight and there's a questions going on.
feel free to come and meet us. I just want to close with a small word of prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you and praise you for this evening hour. And thank you for you have that heart that you came down leaving the throne, Lord, to die in our place, to shed that precious blood for the remission of us, that we might be your children unto eternity that we might be connected to you. Father, as we just looked at that love with which you have loved us, we ask of you that you would give each and every one here, if there's anyone here, dear Father, who desires to make the decision, may it be now and may it be right today, dear Father, that they would choose you and be connected to you for eternity. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, brother. That was Pastor Anil Neturi, straight from the heart. That was a very touching message.